Hi everyone, my name is Alex Jones and I am an occupational therapy student here at the American Stroke Foundation. Today's video is about all the possible adaptive pet care ideas that you can try at home to make taking care of your loved pets a little bit easier after having a stroke. Taking care of your pets and being a pet owner is a huge role and pets are a part of the family so we know it's important too but it can also be a lot of work. These next few slides will have some modifications and strategies to make caring for your furry friend a little bit easier. Having a daily schedule or a checklist for your pet can be great to keep structure and routine for both you and your animals. A checklist can also be helpful if you experience any difficulty with memory. This pet care daily calendar that's on the slide here has a spot for daily food, water, exercise, grooming, and also extra spaces if your dog is going to need food soon or if they have vet appointments because that can often be difficult to remember, especially with your own doctor's appointments and medications. You can keep this list um, somewhere visible, so on a fridge or a whiteboard or a chalkboard in your house so that it's easy for you to see and be able to reuse. You can also set reminders or alarms on your cell phone, a smartwatch, or an alarm clock to help with daily feedings, walks, things like that. Oftentimes our pets have a lot of energy that they need to get out and usually more than what we have to give. So here are some energy conservation strategies for yourself, but making sure that your pet is getting enough activity. For dogs, you can freeze yogurt or peanut butter inside of a chewable toy or in an ice cube tray, and that makes it a really long lasting treat and can keep them entertained for a while. For cats, things like laser pointers or automa automated toys can help entertain them or keep them active for a while. Catnip and cat grass are also some toys that you can get and they will entertain the cats and encourage more activity. If anyone has some smaller animals like hamsters, guinea pigs, or rabbits, you can give them some long lasting chews as well as fruits, veggies, and fruits and that these will keep them entertained and also promote dental hygiene. If you have a pet bird that needs entertained, you can place a mirror near their cage or play music around them. There are also long lasting bird feeder treats and different hanging toys that you can keep in their cages so they can play with for a while. Some more energy conservation for you if you have a reptile that requires daily care and feeding is keeping any of the necessary cleaning or food items that may be at a counter height or somewhere easy to reach for you and you can save any larger tasks like cleaning their tanks or anything like that for days that you feel like you have more time and energy to complete it, as well as having a routine for that to help um, you know what you have to do that day. And then if you have a fish, you can use an automatic feeder, which is really good, especially if you have difficulty with fine motor pinching because their food's really small. There are also slow release food tablets that kind of decrease that daily care that fish need. Um, there are also aquarium cleaner animals that you can place in there and that um, limits or decreases the amount of cleaning that you have to do for their tanks. If going to the store or transportation is a challenge for you or if you don't always have readily available transportation, you can order your pet supplies just like groceries now. So through sites like Petco, Chewy.com, and if you're in the Kansas City metro area, there is a dog store called the Brookside Barkery. And there's one located in the Brookside neighborhood and Lee Summit. And most of these offer same day delivery if it's a certain price and time of day that you're ordering it. So this can be great, again, for transportation needs or if there's you just realized last minute that your pet's running out of food or needs a certain item. This is a really great tool to use. Dog leashes are a really important purchase to make, especially if you have any limited mobility or balance after a stroke. So you want to be careful when you're considering the type of leash to buy. You want to make sure that it's a comfortable length for you and your dog, easy to clip onto your dog, and has a comfortable handle for your hand or that you can put around your waist. And they make 
different dog leashes that go around your waist. So you can try those on and see what you think will work best for you. Um, retractable leashes can be very dangerous as many dogs like to pull on them and see how far they can go. And they also usually have a really thin cord. So if your dog is pulling or wraps around your legs, that can um, cause to, like some burns or cuts and we wanna avoid those. And, um, a lot of leashes have this little clip, like this top picture here that can be really hard to open and hook onto their harness or collar, especially if you have limited function in one hand or have some problems with vision. So one strategy you can use is just purchasing a carabiner, like this image of the pink carabiner here. You can buy those at the dollar store or get packs of them for really cheap at Walmart. Um, and you can just attach that to the black part of the leash, that little clip, and it just gives you more surface area and easier um, grip to hook it onto their collar or leash or lead. And they're really safe. They have a really good grip, so you don't have to worry about it coming undone. So that's just one strategy to use to help with dog leashes. Feeding your pets is a daily task and often occurs several times a day. So you want to make sure that the materials that you need, such as food bowls, food bags, cages, or anything like that can be moved to a counter space or a height that is safe for you to easily access. You can also keep dog or cat food in a cereal container like this photo here. It has a good spot for you to get a good grip on the container. They can easily be opened and make it a little less challenging to pour the food out into the bowl. You can also use long handled scoops, ladles, or serving spoons like this to get a better grip and handle on the spoon while you're serving their food. Pouring water into a pitcher or just keeping a water bottle that you can pour into their bowl can be a lot easier than having to bring the bowl to the sink, filling it up, and then bringing it back. You can also attach a long handle onto their food and water bowls, like this photo here. You can buy them like the ones in this picture where they already have that long handle so you don't have to bend down to the ground. But you can also duct tape like a yardstick or a shoehorn or anything like that onto their bowl. I mentioned this earlier, but automatic feeders can be especially helpful for fish. They also make them for dogs and cats, but it's a good idea to read the reviews because they can be pretty expensive and sometimes not always foolproof and cats and dogs can get into them and then that can make a whole mess. So reading the reviews before purchasing those is a good idea. If your dog or cat eat wet food or canned food, you can try buying a ring pull like the two pictures on the right here. So this top one is called a pop and scoop. So it has instructions in the pictures there, but it helps you to pop open the lid. And it also has a scoop on the other end to kind of limit, it's another energy conservation strategy. So it's kind of an all in one. And then they also just make um, regular pull tabs, like the bottom picture here. And those can both be purchased on Amazon for pretty cheap prices. Play is such an important activity for your pet and also great bonding for you and your pet. But it can also use a lot of energy or be difficult to achieve if you have any um, physical mobility difficulties. So purchasing any long handled reachers or grabbers can be great to help pick up your pet's toys if they're on the ground. That's also good for a cleanup as well. Uh, this picture on the right here is called a chuck it toy and it's great for fetch especially if you have limited mobility in an arm or shoulder and you can just attach the ball or pick it up off the ground so you don't have to bend down to pick up a ball and it allows you to throw a pretty far distance so your dog can run and get a lot of energy out. It's also um, good to buy some larger toys for your pet so it's if that's easier for you to pick up or hold them and good so you can avoid any like tripping or falls if they're if they have a lot of toys on the floor. Cleaning up your pet's messes either inside in a litter box or outside can often be a challenge after a stroke. 
They have long handled scoops that you can uh, pick up the poop off the ground or um, if you need to clean out the litter box so they're kind of easier to hold on to and if you're sitting or using a wheelchair you don't have to bend all the way down. You can also create your own like this photo here so they have looks maybe like a broom handle or you can get a wooden dowel anything that's a good height for you and they just attached um, like a little tube or a cup with the bottom taken out of it and then on the back is a uh, grocery bag or a mini trash bag and attach it there so you can just kind of scoop it and then it automatically goes into a bag so you don't have to worry about touching the waste and that can easily be tossed in the trash or wherever you toss your pet's mess. Um, there are also some harnesses that you can attach to your dog's leash like this bag here. It was about $25 at Petco, but as you can see, it holds a lot of stuff. It already has your pet's um, like poop bags already in there, and you can hook those onto it so you don't have to hold onto it. It also has room for phone, a water bottle, umbrella, anything like that to limit um, you having to hold a lot of things at once when you go on walks or if you're out and about with your pet. Grooming, dog walking, or dog sitting can all be um, challenges to get to if you have limited transportation after having a stroke, but luckily there are lots of resources, especially in the Kansas City area, that offer these services for you. So for dog walking or dog sitting, there are two apps and websites. One is called WAG and one is called Rover. and I think their average rates are about $20 for a 30 minute walk or $30 for an hour walk. Um, that can kind of add up, but if there are days when you know you'll be at doctor's appointments or you don't have enough energy um, or a time of day that's not as great for you to take your dog out, um, these are some great options. And you can kind of just get a dog walker, a dog sitter last minute, and they background check all of the people. So it's a pretty safe resource if you're comfortable with that. There are also mobile pet grooming uh, vans and services that drive around town. So one is called Pet Rinse Repeat, and the other is called Hydro Dog. So their service rates vary, so you can look at their websites for that, but they will come to your house or wherever you live and um, you just bring your dog outside to them or I think if you have limited mobility they'll come get it for you and they just do the grooming right at your house so you don't have to drive anywhere. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please let us know if you have any other perfect pet care strategies that you like to use. There are so many possibilities.